Jason here at Sparks Fire and Bailing Wire. In the process of dismantling this tractor, I only managed to break three bolts off. We're going to get those out today. Some of you are going to accuse me of procrastinating on getting this thing cleaned up. You'd be right. Both of the rear fender mounts, this rear bolt broke for some reason. The other two came out fine. But this hind one broke on both sides. There's a lot of ways to remove them broken bolts. My favorite one is to weld a nut on there and back it out whenever possible. You can always drill them out, but you got to be perfectly centered, which is usually very hard to do. You don't want to use easy outs ever. If you break an easy out in there, you really got trouble then. I've been soaking these for a few days with PB Blaster. Believe it or not, I've never used this stuff before. But they had it on sale, so I bought it. I bought the gallon can with the squirt bottle. I really don't like aerosol cans because I don't want to have to deal with all the empty aerosol cans all the time. One of the good things about welding the nut on is when you weld it, it heats that bolt up and the bolt expands and whatever rust and cruds and the threads in there will just get crushed by that expanding bolt. Then when the bolt cools off and shrinks back down, that alone loosens it up a lot of times. I got the nut welded on there. It's cooling off now, but you can see it was red hot. I let that cool off some more and then just put a wrench on there and work it back and forth and hopefully it'll come out. Well, that's had an opportunity to cool. See if we can get it to break loose. We'll put a little additional heat on it. See if that helps. Now we'll give this side a go. That one came loose by itself. I'll go back and clean these holes up with a tap. Before I even try on this one, I think I'm going to heat that up. this one again. is not going to budge. That's one of them pointed bolts that goes into a hole in the shaft. I'm thinking that might be what's stuck. If that's the case, it's really going to be difficult to get out of there. I'm going to use the last 5 8 nut I have as a guide. Line up a 
transfer punch. That should give me a good center mark on that bolt. And I'm going to start with a small drill bit, try and drill this out. The key thing here is going to have it that it goes straight in there, which I'm seldom successful at. I'm going to give it a go here. Not sure what's going on here. I drilled till I felt it go through what I thought was into the bolt. Drilling to that depth. I'm roughly almost three quarters of the way clear up through that shaft. So I don't know if that bolt kind of half sheared in there or what's going on. We'll keep drilling at it and find out. Well, the good part is, I don't know if you can see it on camera there or not, if I can get the right angle, but the drill is walking off center, so I'm not in the center of the hole anymore, if I ever was to begin with. So I'll just keep drilling, get it out as big as I can without getting into the threads of the arm. Getting real close to the threads now. See what I mean by it's never a good idea to drill those out? This is working, but it's very slow. I think I'm about out of battery on the camera again, so I'm not sure how far I'm going to make it. Well, just like I figured, my battery went dead. But here's today's progress. Got success on those two. Two failures. Two more failures. Finally got success just tapping the hole back out. I ran this tap in there first. This is a tapered tap. Gets the ends going. Then I followed it up with a plug tap that gets clear down to the bottom. It's not a bottoming tap, but it gets close. And I still can't get that arm to move with the pull or anything. And I really don't know any reason why that arm needs to come off. So I think what I'm going to do, since I did get the hole tapped out, is just thread a new set screw in there and call it good. And it's Friday night. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. So we're going to call this video a wrap. Hit that thumbs up button. Comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Catch you next time.